Hello and welcome to uh, Just Calvin. Um, I am here with K.A. Hurd, who is running for Cincinnati Council. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing well. I uh, appreciate the invite of coming on to the show. Well, thank you for uh, for allowing me your presence on that one. Um, first question I have is, uh, would you happen to know how many uh, idle houses are in idle houses, apartment complex, uh, empty hotels, that sort of thing, in Cincinnati that could be purchased uh, by the city or you know, by the city uh, from the um, uh, home uh, from the homeowners and be turned into low income housing? Um, I don't know the exact number, um, to keep it honest. Uh, there is a lot of properties that uh, has been abandoned. There's um, a lot of land that uh, can also be brought uh, to be um, for as building uh, affordable housing on. Um, it, I mean, we have, we have places that we can definitely uh, rebuild, um, definitely uh, little areas that uh, hasn't been touched by development in so many years and they just let it, you know, uh, go downhill. Um, but there's a lot of areas that we can definitely um, revitalize to make sure that it's up to code and um, we can use for um, uh, affordable housing or even uh, home ownership. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do remember seeing a interview you did. You conducted about a week or so ago that says that uh, that you're not really worried about rentals, but more or less worried about getting people to own uh, houses. Uh, what kind of plan would you have in order to help uh, get the votes for that in the city council itself? Uh, well, I mean, I can't really say. I, I'm not really worried about our, our renters because I mean they are definitely. Um, uh, have a heart. I mean, I'm a renter myself, so uh, I definitely care for them, but I would love to uh, make more homeowners uh, than continue to make winners. But um, my idea is basically give them, uh, give people incentives for as people, the first um, home uh, owners, uh, people that uh, let's um, do something for people that has bad credit, because uh, a lot of these things is uh, pushing, holding people back. Uh, but if we can make adjustments um, to different uh, uh, situations, uh, we'll have more homeowners. And um, a lot of people, you know, go straight to rent it because they're not for sure how to own a home or how to get that um, home finance or whatever the case may be. So the other part about it is getting out the information that is available uh, to get it out there uh, as much as possible. And uh, I, I used to do uh, news that follows the Fed and uh, the Federal Reserve and its, and its inter, uh, inter uh, bank system. And I remember uh, reading off something about them uh, trying to lower the financial threshold from for the minority communities to be able to afford to get uh, either a business loan or a housing loan. Uh, do you know anything about that in, uh, in your community that, that you're running for? Um, I, I'm, I don't, I don't, um, I'm not for sure um, if that's exactly in Cincinnati. Uh, I mean, it sounds like a great idea, don't get me wrong, uh, but I'm not for sure if it's, if it's here yet. Mm, okay. And uh, what is the uh, minimum wage in Cincinnati? Um, well, I believe we go by the, of course, the state, and I believe it's, uh, 735 maybe 738 is in the sevens so. and uh what minimum wage would you prefer it to be well i mean honestly we i can say i, I prefer it to be 15 but if minimum wage is 15 then everything else going to continue to go uh, higher for us inflation because it seems like every time when you know we, we make two steps ahead we get push three steps back. What I want to see, I mean, of course, the minimum wage needs to be higher. But what I want to see is people continue to get higher wages with the minimum wage staying the same so we can um, afford the stuff that is going on right now. I would love to see people get $20 an hour, $25 an hour. That's what I like to see people getting. But if we raise the minimum wage, 220 or 25 or whatever the case may be, everything else is going to uh, influence away. It's going to go higher and higher uh, to try to um, 
combat with the minimum wage. I wish we could raise the minimum wage and prices would stay the same, but that's not that's not the case. Uh, but I would love to see people making twenty twenty five dollars an hour minimum. That's that's my suggestion. Yeah, well, inflation right now is dependent on the supply chain, not necessarily the monetary chain. So right now it's more or less because so many different, so much uh, cargo ships and cargo period are not able to reach the coast of, say, California and other places. That uh, that is allowing businesses around the area to hike up their uh, their prices. So that that mm-hmm. itself creates inflation. It's not that there's no supply for it. There's plenty of supply. It just hasn't gone there to to uh, quench to get to the demand. So uh, that's mm-hmm. that's why there's inflation right now. I'm just, I, I, I'm just kind of okay. letting you know as far as the part goes. Uh, anyway, so let's see what else. Uh, what what part of Cincinnati would you want like to try and implement something like the Green New Deal? Uh, what uh, projects would you have in mind to do that? I'm sorry. What was the uh, what project? I, I what said, was it? I'm sorry. No, that's cool. I said if there was, if you were able to bring a vote up in the Cincinnati Council to uh, allocate money, uh, where would you start as far as implementing something like the Green New Deal? Because I know that Cincinnati, uh, I know Ohio itself has a lot of uh, oil refineries and stuff of that nature. Uh, how would you go about trying to? somewhat implement the Green New Deal, but not really bothering those industries, because I know that a lot of uh, the state, uh, uh, the state um, uh, Congress and all of them are really against that, because it takes mm-hmm. money out of, out of their contributions. But uh, if if you had that kind of a plan, uh, what would that be if you have one? Well, um, so I live in Westwood, and um, I, love, I love Westwood, so I, I would definitely, you know, uh, bring the money to Westwood, but I, I look at it as, as um, the west side of Cincinnati, uh, period. So we got Cummingsville, we got Millville, and we have other um, communities on the, on the west side that don't have uh, business districts. So what I like to see is um, the um, communities that don't have business districts to uh, get, get them uh, so we can create more jobs so people can start uh, working where they live. A lot of people got to go, you know, so many miles, you know, to, just to go to work. And mm-hmm. sometimes people don't have cars. Sometimes, you know, some people miss buses or whatever the case may be. But I feel every community should have a business district and also grocery stores. We have a lot of food deserts in our in our uh, city, especially on the west side. Like we have probably like four or five Six, probably like six communities on the west side that does not have grocery stores in the, inside their community. They got to, they got to go to a, a, a one that's next door or whatever the case may be. But there's people that walk. There's people that's elderly that, you know, they can't go too far or whatever the case may be. So I would like, first, I like to uh, see business districts and they're also grocery stores. Hmm. And uh, by the way, who are you running against, uh, if anybody? Uh, well, uh, so it's an at-large uh, city council, so okay. the top five uh, vote getters uh, will get, will uh, claim the seat. Uh, but it's thirty-five people that's running. So wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you call a, that, that's what you call a, uh, a California primary right there. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, so uh, now, what what does that type of title mean in regards to doing things for your community? Uh, for as being a city council representative, yes. Um, well, I mean, it, I mean, it's just a label. I mean, it's something that I guess you can get paid for, but I mean, there's a lot of things that you can't do without getting elected, and we need to make sure that we know that. Uh, we can still participate in our community councils, uh, which is all volunteers, but still does a lot of work. Um, we can get involved with different organizations that um, does, let's say, even cleanups um, that actually, you know, work with farmers markets, um, uh, different things that you can actually do even without being elected. I mean, being elected is great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you do have a, a bigger role in the city, but there's plenty of things to do that you can um, get accomplished without being elected. So. Mm-hmm. I always keep that in the in uh, front first of my focus because uh, I'm running because I feel like I'm a leader 
Um, that's for sure. But if it's not my time, it's not my time. But I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to, you know, uh, turn my back on things that I can do. So, yeah, it's I mean, it's definitely a label. It, it holds weight, but it's not going to make me no difference. OK. Uh, and uh, as far as the Green Party itself goes, uh, how big of a, how big is the presence of the Green Party in, uh, in Cincinnati? Oh, um, Mrs. Snyder, I mean, we, we definitely need to grow. Um, I mean, I, I believe that's in any major city in, in South Ohio. Uh, we definitely need to grow it. And it, it, it takes dedication. It takes commitment. It takes uh, actually people that wants to uh, run as a Green. Um, we had a couple of people, well, even before me, there's a couple of people that ran as a Green, but uh, they only ran one time or um, or twice or the the fact is they quit and they quit they went to a, they either never ran again or they went to the other side far as being a republican or a democrat the thing is um, i'm with the green party and i plan on being with the green party um as long as god takes us mm. and uh, uh what, what have you guys done to try to grow the green party uh well um we, we have our meetings, a lot of people, um, one of the people that's, you know, that's running the Hamilton County Green Party, uh, they doing what they can. Um, a lot of them are uh, older and they've been with the Green Party for, uh, for a very long time. So they're they still doing what they can do. Um, they participate in different organizations, you know, volunteering, always, you know, wearing shirts and always talking about the Green Party or the Green candidates or uh, even trying to get us in forms and uh, get us out to different places that, you know, when they uh, get the a message relayed, uh, we try to go there as much as possible and, and things like that. There's a lot of effort that needs to be done. Um, I'm not going to say we're doing everything or doing everything to the best of our ability, of, uh, which we can. Um, a lot of people, you know, we, we are working class people. We go to work. Uh, uh, I don't have a family, but other people have families to cater to. And um, they definitely... Uh, dedicate their time when they can, which is very respectable and commendable. Um, but it's a lot of things that we need to do to uh, get a bigger presence inside Cincinnati in particular. Yeah, at Columbus as well. But uh, I, I saw on a recent interview, uh, well, I'm sorry, no, actually I asked you uh, on Twitter uh, if you if you were afford to fund the police or not, you said no. Uh, uh, let me kind of redo that question and ask uh would you be willing to uh help like take some of the money out, out of the police and put more into mental health in regards to those type of calls that come in with like people with mental health issues uh, at the moment instead of having cops come out and who are obviously not trained to handle uh, mental issues uh to bring more mental uh officials i guess i don't know uh to those uh, calls Right. Um, so my, I mean, well, okay, let me, let me say this. Uh, so we are down um, roughly a hundred officers uh, from uh, far as our, our, um, our quota for as officers. And, and we also a hundred, uh, roughly a hundred thousand firefighters. So our public safety dollars um, to me, it, it, I mean, of course they split it up between the fire and police and uh, police does get more. The only reason why I, I don't want to, you know, take away funds from the officers is because, um, uh, I mean, we we're short. We are already short. So, what I what I would like to see is that we do uh, have extra mental health uh, training for our officers, or at least have people on call that can go to these calls um, when it's like an emergency, or at least if officers uh, can even call somebody, you know, to assess the situation, they can't actually be there. Or if officers can actually get on to like a, like a, I mean, maybe not a Zoom call, but something like that that's on the go on their computers or whatever the case may be. So the social worker can actually uh, be, you know, visible, uh, a, veil, um, a digital somehow, some way to help out the officers in, in, the, uh, in different cases, which I feel like will help different situations. It may not help all the situations, but I feel like there will be one solution compared to not having any. Mm. 
And uh, what, what did you do before uh, you started running? So um, before I was running, uh, I'm a DJ. I'm, okay. I'm still currently a DJ. So I DJ and also I've been working into the customer service representative. So I've been, you know, trying to uh, serve people just about all my life. And um, I'm currently working at Amazon um, right now because I, I actually just recently picked this up because uh, campaigning is a lot. Campaigning, yeah. you know, for us uh, money-wise, especially if you not, uh, you know, bringing in the money as, you know, as they call the big timers is. But yeah. at the end of the day, we're going to make it do what it do. We're going we're gonna to work with what we have. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And that's all we can do and just, you know, hope for the best. If it don't work out this time, we try again. If it don't have work on that time, we continue to try and we continue to get better. So, uh, but yeah, so I'm working at Amazon, uh, basically um, at, the, at the airport and uh, just as a, a rep employee. As a what? As a rep. Uh, as a rep, uh, rep oh, employee. Oh, okay. Yeah. As a rep, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping you win swing yeah, there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, right, so uh, <laughs> well, th uh, that will do it for today. Uh, thanks for being on. Uh, it was my yes, pleasure. Uh, did you uh, now? I was going to uh, look at a couple of your uh, ads, but I didn't get to it. So uh, oh. do you have uh, anywhere people can go to donate uh, to register the boat if they if if they still have time? Uh, and where in Cincinnati will they be able to vote for you? Okay, so yeah, so um, early voting has already started. Um, right now until October 30th, I believe, you can um, vote at the Board of Elections or Hamilton County Board of Elections, uh, which is on Smith Road um, in Norwood. Uh, so you can cash your votes there. And uh, so my website is Stay Heard. Uh, stayheardcommittee.wibbly.com, which you can find everything uh, about me, about my bio, you can donate, you can uh, sign up to volunteer, whatever the case may be, you can reach out to me even on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is uh, K uh, A H E A R D J R. Uh, that's my Twitter, and, and we can link up there also. So just reach out anytime, and I appreciate you, Calvin. I really do. Thank you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, who else is who else is running in uh, in Cincinnati? I think Mr. S uh, was it Shimmer or Simmer? I'm sorry. I, I think it's Simmer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Logan Simmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be, I, uh, he'll be the yeah. second person I'll have on later on. Uh, and actually, just a reminder for for everybody. Uh, 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 Mr. Herb was on today. I also have uh, other uh, other people coming on. Uh, Matthew uh, Forstetter, uh, MMT, uh, on my monetary theory, which I'm, I'm a big proponent of that, and other people. I'll just say that. Anyway, thanks for being here. I hope you, get, I hope you have a good night and uh, vote for vote for Mr. Hurd. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Calvin. Once heard, stay heard. Yeah, exactly. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, you too. All right.